Do you think that different food can make you feel different emotions? Yeah. Yeah, because like when I eat Brussels sprouts, I feel sad. And when I eat pizza, I feel joyful. Uh, I mean, onions make you cry. What do you think the most comforting food is? Mac and cheese. I'm so sorry to break it to you. We are not eating mac and cheese today. We are trying soups from around the world. Do you think soups are comforting foods? Yep. <laughs> Soup? <laughs> Soup is my favorite food. I'm so excited to hear that. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have you close your eyes and bring out the very first dish. And open. Ooh. Smells pretty good. What does it smell like? It smells a bit like seafood to me. There's crayfish in there. We also have some stockfish. So there's a couple different things that will be giving you that vibe. Good. You ever heard of any of those ingredients before? Not at all. I will warn you, the soup is a little bit spicy. <laughs> spicy, spicy. Maybe I can handle it. Excuse me. I think you have a really good spice tolerance. Some of the other kids, this was a little too spicy for them. This is supposed to be spicy. All right, we're gonna cut you off so that it doesn't burn your taste buds. Yeah. We'll move on to the next one. Okay. And open. What? Do you know that soup? Yep. What is it? Borscht. Do you know where that comes from? Russia. Yes, it comes from places like Russia and Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. You like it? Love it. It's actually pretty good. Have you ever eaten anything that color before? I once licked blood. What? We ran out of band-aids, so I was like... <laughs> so what gives this its color is beets. But I'm not really a beet fan, you know? <laughs> Save me. What does this soup make you feel? Relaxed. My emotion is probably confused because it has all of these different flavors to it. There's flavor, oh yeah. There's flavor, oh, rawr. There's not really words for them. There's sounds for them now. The sounds of borscht. When have you had this before? Mm, at home. Who makes this for you? Mom. Aww. This is pozole. They're chips. Mm-hmm. Those are corn chips. Pozole is a soup that comes from central Mexico. Um, what is it made out of? So this soup uses hominy, meat, chili peppers, and seasoning. Mm, yummy. If I go and visit my the relatives in Oregon. My aunt usually makes a really big batch of green pozole. Is this a good bite? That looks beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add more broth because broth makes everything better. I couldn't agree more. Do you know the three different kinds of pozole? Those red and green. No, no, the last one. The last one is white. It's the same three colors as the Mexican flag. Hot. How does it taste? It's good. When do you eat this? Thanksgiving usually. It just reminds me of festivities like being happy and celebrating. It makes me feel happy because it's so, so yummy. This is called boonba. Boonba? Exactly. Do you, how do you hold chopsticks? Usually you hold them in one hand. You can also use the giant spoon on the silver Ooh, platter. I might use that. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> It's delicious. This is one of the more popular soups in Vietnam. I was gonna say some of the ingredients remind me of, uh, which is also Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. We got the beef, the noodles, the bean sprouts, sauce, and soup stock, which is also pretty similar. Mmm. God, I love that sauce. 
Not yummy. <laughs> How do you think this compares to pho? That uh, pho is a seven, this is a 10. I see the little spicy dots. It's spicy, but it's so good. <laughs> you know the question I'm about to ask you. What does this suit make you feel? It makes me feel amazing. It went up to this, it went up to space. <laughs>